Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's that time of week again. We've got the tongs, we've got the water bottles, it's tarantula maintenance time. If you've not seen the first episode, um, go and check it. It's quite fun to watch and it gives you a few tips, but every week um, I'll be bringing a tarantula maintenance um, video to the, uh, to the channel where I'll go through um, each enclosure, filling up water dishes, washing water dishes, looking for food bulbuses, bits of dead skin, all that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's flip the camera around and get on with tarantula maintenance session, episode number two. This girl definitely needs her water dishes a bit thing, but as you can see, she's recently molted. So we will just top the water dish up, try and get her skin out without her going nuts obviously sometimes the tractors eat their skins and sometimes they don't so we'll fill the water dish up and we'll go in with the tongs and remove the skinny or skin i know some people keep the skins and some people don't keep the skins me i don't keep the skins i'll take the skins out and bin them I know a lot of people like to frame their malts, but I don't. I'll just get the malts out and I'll just throw them in a food waste bin. This is all food waste. It gets turned into biofuel. And that's it. That's one enclosure looking good. Obviously, she's recently malted, so there won't be any signs of any food bulbuses and that kind of stuff. Because, like I said, she's recently malted, so she's not eaten. But a lot of these ate yesterday, so I'm sure there's bound to be one or two food bulbuses about. So we have a look around, can't see any sign of food bulbuses. People are going to say, what's a food bulbus? A food bulbus is basically the food they don't digest, they roll it up and web it up into a little ball. And toss it in the enclosure. And there we go, that's the orphanaceous, looking good. She's going to be fun to rehouse. No food bulbous in there. Oh look, Gina Collard is out and about, waiting for water. <laughs> How many tarantulas in this video do you reckon are going to attack the water dish? I reckon Gina Collard is going to attack the water dish, definitely. And that's one bit of leftover food, as you can see. Um, it's still fat, but it's very thin, and the head's been chewed off. It's still wiggling a bit, but the head's been chewed off. You can see. The camera will focus. Yeah, it's been chewed. Asian forest scorpion. It's chewed the head off. And ate what it's wanted to eat. So we didn't catch it on camera in the feeding video, but it's definitely ate. As you can see, there's not much liquid or goo left at the end. So the Asian forest scorpion has chewed the head. And eaten what it wants to eat. And there is the Asian forest scorpion. My most aggressive scorpion. I'll just move this out. I'm just gently moving everybody just so I can put the cork bark back so I don't want to get bit. They're still doing well, it's not molting my care yet. But it's eating. This is more aggressive than the Emperor Scorpion, so I will not even try to pick this little bugger up. But there you go. Proof that the, the Asian Forest Scorpion does eat in my care. It's still alive, look. And that'll be it. We'll put the lid on and let it go back to hiding away, which it does. So, am I about to be right? And the Gina Clark is going to attack the water. <laughs> Nope, she didn't attack it this time. <laughs> she normally attacks the water dish. Okay. She ain't feeling it today, but normally she attacks the water. So I guess she's, not, she's still feeling full after her meal. Yep, she didn't want to attack the water dish today. Any sign of, or a bit of dead, bit of dead malt there. Bit of old malt there, but that's about it. No food bulbuses again. Just a 
dead bit of malt there, which we'll take out. All right, she needs a bit of she needs a bit of water. There's a massive heat wave here in the UK at the moment, so there's a lot of empty water dishes today. And there you have it. Another one that's not attacked the water. <laughs> Are we going to get one? Just one that attacks the water. Or am I going to be proved wrong and have a, a video where not one of them attacks the water? And people not believe me, they do attack the water. <laughs> it's actually quite funny to watch if you've never seen a tarantula attack water. Another dead bit of skin. Or I should say dried bit of skin from my malt. And top the water dish up. This one never attacks the water. I've never seen this one attack water. The old green bottle blue. Krona Palmas Yankee Bessence. There is another bit of malt there, which I'm not going to tend to pick the web and get it. Any food bulbuses? Nope. Disappointed. Another enclosure with no food bulbuses and no tarantula attacking the water. I just want one to attack the water just so I can get it on camera, just so you can see what I mean. <laughs> the how funny they are when they attack the water. Uh, there won't be no food bulbuses or food waste in this enclosure because the um, Nandu Chromatis is still eating it. Fill it up. This is just tap water. Nothing special. I don't really give them mineral water or anything. Tap water that I leave um, for a day or two before I f just to make sure there's no chemicals and shit. My <laughs> language, I said the yes word. <laughs> I don't really <laughs> want a language like that on the channel. I want to try and keep the channel friendly. So excuse me for saying the, the word shit. I apologize. Plenty of water in the sea, Marnies. We're just trying to take the skin out without scaring the shit out of her. And there you have it. I'm not going to get that last bit of malt. I'll wait till she's moved a bit. Because she's freshly malted, so I don't want to disturb her too much, too much while she's hardening up. Water. Yeah, I'll give it a little top up. But like I said, there'll be no food waste in this enclosure. Because she's not long malted, so she's not eaten. And to be honest, there's not really much food waste um, from the beetle grubs I feed them. I hardly get any food waste from the beetle grubs. It's normally like the locusts and the roaches that I normally get a lot of food bulbuses. They tend to um, just gobble the um, worms up. And to be fair, that's the first bit of waste from a fruit grub I've seen was obviously from the scorpion. And Nemo's in there doing fine. The empty water dish in this one so we'll just move it just so I can slightly there. This one's in pre-malt so there'll be no food bulbous again or food waste in this one. Top up the water dish like so. And there you have it. Petrinus Lagardi. Hopefully we'll get a malt from her soon. Right, let's move on to some fun tarantulas. That lot over there. This one's going to be fun. Look who's got her meal. Who's finally got a meal. You can see a hole in the dirt. So he's finally dug up her meal. And she's eating it. And that's the most aggressive tarantula in my collection. We all know this one by now. Uh, bitch bag. <laughs> the reason why I call it bitch bag is just her aggressiveness. So this is going to be fun. I'm going to use a spray bottle. And hopefully get over her. Without her going nuts. Thankfully, she didn't go nuts because she's got a mouthful of food. But 
if she didn't have a mouth full of food, she would have attacked. Cirrogocopus minax. Thailand black, my most aggressive tarantula. If she didn't have that food in her mouth, she would have been on her back legs like the previous feeding video. You can stay there, girl. If I ever bring out any merchandise, if I ever bring any merchandise out, like t-shirts or whatever, she is going to be on one of the t-shirts. Regalis, stay there. Don't try and make a bolt for it or climb out. You're getting water. Again, spray bottle. Because these are my deadliest tranchers. Yep, she's all good. There is mulch behind that cork bark, but I'm not going to risk pulling the cork bark out. The mulch can stay there for now with this one. I don't really want to chase the P. regalis around the bedroom during this heat so the mulch can stay there for that one right who so we have now who else needs water oh yes our fun web needs water and our poorly girl needs water so we top hers up she's not eating the food yet we'll top her water dish up and then we'll have fun trying to top that one up. But so far, none for none. I think I'm proven wrong. <laughs> uh, the joys of you trying to film videos and the phone goes. Right, no food bulbuses from that girl. She's definitely, her burrow's definitely shrunk a bit, so I'm going to have to make sure it's not collapsed on her. Who else we got? Oh, there's definitely quite a few food bulbuses in the old ABT's enclosure. Oh, this girl took the worm then. The tarantula that I never see. Webbing. Digging. Oh, here we go. We have got a bit of food. There we have it. Look, that's what a food bulbus looks like. That's what a food bulbus looks like. Just a ball like that with web on. So there we have it. We've finally got a bit of food bulbus. Woohoo! There's skin everywhere inside that cork bark, which I'm not going to remove. So I'll just top the water dish up. This is the Haplocosmia Himalayana. Very underrated tarantula. Oh, a bit of food bulbous in the corner, I can see. A bit there. And a bit there. Food bulbuses. I've just dropped it. The reason why you want to, if it, there is any leftover food or food bulbuses, the reason why you want to get them out. It's because leftover food and food bulbuses tend to attract mites. And I don't want any enclosures full of mites. So same again. Food waste bin. And I'll just throw them in. Yep. I don't, as I said, I don't keep any tarantula skins. My Charlie. I can see her. Bit of food bulbous there, so we'll take that out. We'll move the water dish. Every now and then they overspill the water and it gets on the substrate. So I'll move the dish, the water dish to a bit of a drier spot in the enclosure. So that that dries. Because sometimes the tarantulas just get water everywhere. And The soil can end up mouldy. So if you do find that your tarantulas are getting the water everywhere, then just move the water dish yeah. to a drier bit of soil and let that soil dry out. Yeah. I always get it with half my dozen of my tarantulas. Yeah. Um, yeah. Having to move the water dish around the enclosures. 
I don't get any water dishes that are buried. I get water dishes that are filled with web, but none that are buried. Yet. Well, there's a lot of food in here, as you can see. Food bulbous there. Try and get it off. And obviously a bit of food bulbous in the water dish, which is obviously food bulbous in the water dish tend to go mouldy, so get them out as soon as possible. Yeah. Top the enclosure up. Well, not top the enclosure. <laughs> top the water dish up, not the enclosure, like so. And there you have it. Tarantula maintenance video number two is complete. So. A recap, we watered all the tarantulas, took out some of the dead skin, and we found, in total, about four food bulbuses. So not a bad maintenance um, this week, and obviously we watered every spider, because every spider pretty much had no water. So all in all, this week's maintenance session was pretty sweet. So, as always, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos, then it would be awesome if you could subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment, as it really does help the channel out. And stay tuned for some awesome videos coming soon. Bye for now, everybody.